God has given me something that I didn't always have, and that is a compassionate heart. I was uh, an individual who was very gruffy and rough. I uh, asked, to go, asked God to give me a compassionate heart. And uh, it's been more than I could have ever imagined. I think it made me a better pastor as a result of that. My birth mother had passed away when I was a toddler, so I was basically raised by my dad and uh, stepmother. And my stepmother is primarily the one who was responsible for leading me to Christ. She enrolled me in a uh, correspondent uh, Bible class, and uh, in a year or so, I uh, professed my faith in Christ during our annual uh, church revival. People used to tell me, you're going to be a preacher one day. And I had no intention of being a preacher. I didn't even like preachers. So I went on and uh, did my best to go the opposite direction from uh, preaching. I eventually did uh, literally surrender to that calling. I had no concept of a call to missions because the only thing I knew that a, a black preacher could do was to be a pastor or serve in some other capacity in the church. Eventually, I sensed that maybe this is the direction God wanted me to go in ministry. I knew by then, it was since I was a Southern Baptist pastor, that uh, IMB was the missionary sending arm. We were uh, instrumental in helping to start 26 congregations in Abuja, Nigeria, the new federal capital of the country. And one of the largest churches in Nigeria in terms of uh, not only what they are doing, but in terms of membership, is the very first one that we helped to get started. And it's now the First Baptist Church of Abuja. Uh, when I was overseas, uh, I lived and worked among people who had next to nothing. Uh, most of them were very poor, and they had uh, difficult lives. And I could identify with that. And as a result, uh, I took on the attitude that uh, if you're going to succeed as a member of this church or as a Christian in this environment, you've got to develop uh, toughness and the ability to rely upon God. The most rewarding part of it was uh, getting to know the people in the country where I served. Uh, they became really family. Even though we had planned on staying there until retirement, we had in our minds that eventually we would come back to the States and uh, retire here. But when I uh, left Nigeria, it was uh, difficult because I knew in my heart that I would never be going back there to live. I shall never forget those people.